Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Today, unfortunately, we're talking about scammers and how they're getting trickier and trickier uh, with the methods they're using. Um, so, as you know, uh, if you do feel like you're being scammed, uh, feel free to give me a call or an email and um, just free service to help out people uh, stop getting scammed because that really sucks. Um, now, the first type of scam that's uh, becoming more and more prevalent these days is phone spoofing. So, unfortunately, when you get a phone call these days, uh, it might still be a international scammer. Uh, you know, normally you can see the, the phone number and be like, oh, that's not from Australia, and avoid look, uh, taking that call. But these days, what uh, the scammers are doing is they're actually pretending to be other phone numbers. Um, so, for example, you might get a call from a mobile number and you're like, oh, usually people uh, with mobile numbers, it's legit, right? And so I'll pick up that phone or they'll be using a uh, phone number from an existing Australian business. And so that way they're pretending to use other people's phone numbers. So sometimes you might even receive phone calls from randoms and be like, hey man, I got a missed call from this number. And you'll be like, what? I never called you. And that's because these scammers have used your phone number for phone spoofing. Um, and so what that basically means is instead of, you know, uh, a phone call being, uh, oh, this is coming from a private number so you can't see the number, they're actually pretending to use your number or they're pretending to use other people's numbers. And obviously it's been working for them because people are picking up their phones, uh, they're more likely to do that. And so that's what phone spoofing is. Um, this is an ABC article if you want to know more details about it. Uh, I just literally typed phone spoofing and uh, this is one of the articles that came up. The second scam I want to talk today because it's becoming more and more prevalent is called a flu bot scam. Uh, so basically you might get a text message that's saying, oh, uh, you've missed a phone call. Here's a link to listen to the, to the message or, oh, you've actually missed um, a delivery parcel. And so... Uh, please click on this to re uh, retract your phone, uh, retract your package, and all that kind of stuff. So I, I got I got a couple of these texts as well, and so uh, I was trying to find the name of it, and apparently they're called flu bots uh, because what their intention is to do is you might get a message like this: "Oh look, uh, here's a link to look at your missed message, or you missed a package. Here's another link." And the one way to spot it is obviously the URL. It's got nothing to do with the company that's delivering, right? So it's like, what is this uh, URL? It's not related to DHL at all. And so that's one way to pick it up. But also, like, if you didn't, if you're not expecting a package and getting a test like this, it's obviously, like, probably going to be a scam. And so, but that's the thing. It's like we're doing more and more online shopping. And so people are falling for this trap more and more because it's becoming, these types of texts becoming more prevalent. And so... Uh, the reason it's called a flu bot scam, not because, you know, it started in COVID, but because the links generally go and make you download some software that's a virus or some malware. So, uh, yeah, just please uh, be careful out there. And if you feel like you've been tricked or you need help getting out of a scam, feel free to give me a call and I'll be able to help you out uh, or help you identify if something is a scam or not. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, oh, oh one last thing. Bonus. Bonus. Um, the A Triple C uh, has got the the website called Scam Watch, right? But what they've also done is they've uh, created a newsletter, and so you can subscribe, and uh, it'll tell you about these latest trends in scams. And so I'm gonna sign up, and then every time I get a something worth mentioning, uh, I'll make a video about it as well. So see you guys next time. Bye bye.